Hello and welcome to another video for Midas Touch Toys Games Collectibles. And today we are looking at the 2002 release by Art Asylum from their Star Trek Enterprise series of action figures um, and play sets. And what we're looking at today is the deluxe uh, action figure set. And this particular one is of Captain Jonathan Archer. Uh, and it ca he comes complete with a bridge base and a captain's chair. Okay, so this is the box that it comes in, and right at the very top on the left-hand side, it says, warning, choking hazards, small parts, not suitable for under threes. Um, on the right-hand side, it says, get committed to artasylum.com, and you've got the Art Asylum logo, um, and it's got Psycho Toys for Crazy Kids. On the window, you can see, try me, press button for activation, Enterprise NX-01 command chair action sounds. We'll do that in a moment. Uh, behind the bubble, obviously, you can see the uh, action figure of Captain Archer, uh, as played by Scott Bakuru. Um, and you can see the bridge uh, base and his captain's chair. And at the bottom, it's got Captain Jonathan Archer, Enterprise NX-01, bridge base, captain's chair, Enterprise Broken Bow Deluxe. Ages 8 and up, and it's item number 85300. Okay, so that is the front of the box. Now, before we get into having a good look at the item itself, let's turn the box around and let's see what we've got printed on the back. Okay, so I turn the box around and this is what we've got on the back. There's an awful lot of information on the back here. So it starts off Asylum Inmates and that gives you um, a list of all the uh, people that worked on creating this product. And at the bottom it's got Art Asylum, uh, Crazy Toys for, uh, Psycho Toys for Crazy Kids, artasylum.com. Item number 85300. Photos on the package may differ in content from the final product inside. It says, Broken Bow Deluxe Enterprise NX-01 Bridge Bases. Realistically sculpture figures and scale replicas of Enterprise NX-01 Bridge Consoles moulded directly from the blueprints. And you've got the Archer Command Chair, which is obviously this one, which goes right in the centre of that bridge set just here. And you've got the Science Station, uh, or T'Pol's Science Station, the Vulcan, um, which goes here. And just below that, you've got Mayweather's Helm Console, which is right in the front of the captain's chair, just here. And at the very bottom, you've got Reed's Tactical um, Systems, which goes on the uh, left-hand side, just there. And that's when you, if you've got all of all four of them, you can combine them together. They all interconnect to create a big bridge playset or display. Okay, it says Tech, Trek Tech, authentic action replicas, Starfleet phase pistol and communicator with authentic sound effects, and Enterprise NX-01 12-inch electronic starship, um, super detailed starship with sounds and light up action. It says Enterprise away team, 7-inch action figures. So you've got Captain Jonathan Archer, uh, Sub-Commander T'Pol, uh, Commander Charles Tucker, Ensign Hosh... Hoshil Sato, um, and you've got Shran the Andorian and Norsican Captain, and at the very bottom, or just below that Enterprise Broken Bell Deluxe, you've got again Captain Jonathan Archer, uh, Sub Commander to Pole, Lieutenant uh, Malcolm Reed, Ensign Travis Mayweather. Uh, hang the Klingon and sick the Sullian. And at the bottom, it's got Enterprise Bridge Bow, 7-inch action figures, realistically sculptured figures and accessories. Coming soon, Star Trek Borger Simulation, 7-inch action figures, and Star Trek Nemesis, 7-inch action figures. And it says, featuring bridge crew audio and sound and action sound effects from the Enterprise premiere, Telefilm, Broken Bow. Um, I think if you ask anyone on board whether they thought this mission was worth the risk, you get the same answer from every one of them. That's by Commander Charles Tripp Tucker. It says, collect them all. Okay, so a lot of information on the back of the box there, which is good. You just don't normally get that much on uh, these Star Trek boxes. Okay, so let's, before we look any further i just want to turn the box around and see if there's anything printed no, there's nothing to 
right home about on here. Uh, it just says Enterprise NX01 Bridge Bases, Action Sounds, Authentic Detail, Enterprise Broken Bell Deluxe, Item Number 85300, Art Asylum, Psycho Toys for Crazy Kids. Okay, so that is the box. Uh, it's the same again on the other side. I don't think there's anything on the uh, on the bottom. Yep. So we do have some something on the bottom here, uh, and it says Star Trek dot com, uh, www Star Trek Fan Club dot com, and the Enterprise manufactured by Art Asylum Limited, and their dress and details there. Broken Bell Deluxe Enterprise, Broken Bell Deluxe, featuring action sounds and authentic detail. Item 85300. And on the right-hand side, you've got the barcode and you've got all the copyright information. 2002 Art Asylum, uh, Art Asylum, Psycho Toys for Crazy Kids. And you've got artasylum.com. Okay, that is the box. Now, I think what I'm going to do... Before, actually, let's press the buttons and see if it works. My name is Jonathan Archer. We're on a mission of exploration from the planet Earth. Well, after 24, 23 years, to 22 years, it's still actually working, so... That's the inside of the bridge sound effects. Okay, so that's the sound effects uh, that come on the button, um, uh, the, which is on the bridge playset. Um, surprise, surprise, the batteries are still functioning, um, which after um, 22 years is unbelievable, really. So it obviously hasn't um, had any sort of life. This has been sat on the shelf all that time and obviously been protected one way or other. Okay, well, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to open the box... I'm going to take it out because then we can perhaps get a better look at what we've got inside the box. Okay, so I've opened the box and it's <laughs> it's a lot more difficult than I thought. I thought it was a case of just very easily um, taking the items off, putting them together and having a good look at them. But it's not that simple, I'm afraid. Um, if you look at the box, you can see that everything is still strapped in. And if I turn the box over, uh, you can see it's all taped on at the back. And if I remove that off... Oh, actually, that does come off, but it's all um, still all attached to the bottom there, um, all wound in and held together. So there's absolutely no way that I could get that off and then put it back together again. So I'm not even going to attempt to do so. So I'm just going to pop that back on in the inner tray. Um, now, before we have a look at the, the, the section itself, um, this comes with the item so it's, it's got the assembly instructions so how it all goes together um, as you can see uh, insert command chair and rain onto base snap left and right platforms on into base press button to activate captain's chair bridge audio um, and it says attach base connector to link with additional bridge bases base connector not included in this set uh, and it says collect all four Enterprise NX-01 bridge bases. So you've got Archer, Reed, Topol and Mayweather. All Broken Bell Deluxe bases linked to form a huge Enterprise NX-01 bridge scene. And you've got all the... It tells you how to replace the batteries there uh, if necessary. So uh, it may be necessary in this one after a, a short amount of time. Look, currently the batteries are still working, so um, who knows. And also you get this uh, behind the scene new product updates which is a little brochure from Art Asylum, um, which shows you what is what merchandise they have and what is coming soon and so on. So that's a, a little um, sales brochure there. Okay, so that's the extra bits that you get with it. So what do we have here? So we have Captain Jonathan Archer. Now, let's just have a measure of the size of this figure, because these figures are quite large. So we're talking 20 um, centimetres, which I think is 8 inches. Um, yeah, just under just under 8 inches, about 7.5 inches tall. Um, and now, the detailing on the figure is fantastic. Well, let's just zoom in on his face, and you can see um, the... There we go, look at that. I mean, that does look like Scott Bakuda, uh, who obviously portrayed... 
Captain Archer. Uh, it was also known for Quantum Leap back in the in the uh, 80s. Okay, so that is uh, Captain Archer, um, highly detailed figure with multi points of articulation. As you can see, um, his, uh, his uh, the, the the facial features are just incredible. Yeah, I, I really do think they've done superbly well on these. I mean, considering when you're you're thinking this is 22 years ago when this was released, it is incredible the um, the the. Um, the sculpture, it just looks so much like uh, the character itself. Okay, um, articulation wise, so you've got the head, you've got the shoulders, you've got the tops of the arms here, you've got the elbows, you've got the hands. Uh, doesn't look like the waist moves, but the top of the legs certainly do. Uh, and the knees and the feet. So there's quite a lot of articulation um, on these figures. As I say, the, like I said, it doesn't look like the. I mean, it probably does because that that feels like rubber. In actual fact, so the waist probably does move. You can see the the articulation on the tops of the legs, on the knee joints, and on the feet, uh, the hands as well, and of course, the ever wonderful Enterprise captain's chair, um, and obviously that pops into the um, stand and goes onto the centre of the. Uh, bridge set there which is just behind him and you've got the edges of the bridge just here as well which clip onto the sides and of course let's come out a little bit and let's press that button again Stop waiting. Stop waiting. I don't quite hear what they said that classic enterprise bridge sound So that is this this particular Broken Bell set, which is the Captain Jonathan Archer one. Um, I think they're, these are terrific. Art Asylum done a fantastic job um, when they had the license to produce the Star Trek merchandise. Um, the the figures were second to none. The size of them was great. They were bigger than the, the um, Playmates versions. Um, and the, the quality was fantastic and not disrespecting the playmates ones because they were just as good um, but the quality on these ones were just superb um, and then these deluxe versions which come with all these accessories as well um, I think they were just fantastic and to have the full set and put all the bridge together um, was amazing I mean we we did actually have the whole set of these um, in our shop at the time going back to the early 2000s and we set the whole scene up um, and it was in one of our display cabinets so yeah it was um, um, it, it looked absolutely fantastic and we had the four figures on the bridge at the same uh, with the um, uh, the bridge play set uh, or the the scene all set up so yeah um, going together they just look phenomenal so how well did they do well unfortunately I don't think they've done particularly well. Um, the Enterprise figures never sold as well as the Next Generation or the um, Deep Space Nine or even the original series come to that. Um, and despite the fantasticness of these um, deluxe sets um, and even the ships come to that and the phasers and communicator sets, they really didn't sell as well as um, I think was expected, considering the popularity of the television show. Um, I, now that's what I'm talking about in the UK. I don't quite know how they, how well they done in the uh, US, but certainly in the UK they wasn't uh, didn't sell fantastically well, um, which is a shame really because I think they're absolutely fantastic. And I could never understand it when we had the shop why these things weren't flying off the shelf, especially when we had them on display. Um, so yeah, it just baffled me that did, but it has obviously made these extremely collectible now, especially these deluxe sets, um, and to, uh, to try and get the, the four pieces and put them together now would certainly be an achievement and a half. Um, because finding these in this mint 
condition and open condition and fully working condition is, is almost an impossibility now. But as usual, we at Minus Touch have managed to find a few and they're currently available to purchase on the Minus Touch website, which you can get to quite simply by clicking the link below. It takes you straight to the website where you'll be able to find this and many other vintage Star Trek items and many other vintage toys, games and collectibles come to that. There's over 10,000 products currently available on the website for you to view and purchase at your leisure. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we're uploading videos for every new item that goes into the website. There will be something for everybody. And I am absolutely positive you're not going to want to miss this because we literally have thousands and thousands of new products which we're shooting videos for and uploading on a daily basis. So if there is something in particular you are looking for, something old that you've never been able to find, something quirky you might want to buy for a friend, or maybe just something from your childhood that you'd like to own again to help you recuperate those long lost childhood memories. Well, stay tuned, keep watching, because you never know the next item we upload could be that item you've been looking for. Okay, that is it for me on this particular item. I hope you've enjoyed this very short video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon.